This is part one of the classic Craftsman drill press accessory, the Very Slow Speed Control Rebuild Series. I have been wanting to do a video series on this accessory since I started my channel. The history behind it, where it came from, how they came up with the idea, who manufactured it, how it works, all of that is just super interesting to me and I wanted to share it with you guys. One of my subscribers got one of these very slows in near mint condition and he sent it to me and asked me to do a video series on it because there's not a whole lot of videos out there on this accessory. So in this video, we're going to be deep diving into the history behind it and who invented it and all that good stuff. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff and welcome to my shop. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, please check out my YouTube channel. We got a lot to cover, so let's get to it. The classic Craftsman drill press started with the 100 series 15 and a half inch drill press that was produced by the King Sealy Corporation and it ran from 1946 to 1957. The 100 series was replaced by the 150 series that was produced by both King Sealy and later Emerson and ran from 1958 to 1966. Both of these drill press series had that iconic Art Deco aesthetic to them. They were very similar in many aspects and one of those was the fact that they both used a four-step pulley system. When paired with the recommended 1750 RPM motor, that gave you a speed range between 610 RPMs all the way up to 5,000 RPMs. A total of nine speeds were available to the owner if you were willing to adjust the motor pulley on the motor shaft. And for all these speed available options, you had to go through a number of steps to be able to change the speed of the drill press. You had to turn the drill press off. You had to loosen the motor mount screws. You had to push in or tilt the motor. Move the belt to the correct sheaves to achieve that desired speed. Retension the belt and then tighten down the motor mount screws and then turn the drill press back on. Although the 150 series with its tilting motor mount made this a little easier, it was still a process to change speeds. Drill press speeds are important depending on what you are drilling into. And for metal, for instance, especially something that's ferrous, you're going to want slow, slow speeds. And for woodworking, you're going to want faster speeds. So a variety of options were available from Craftsman to address speed issues with drill presses. By 1967, there were three solutions provided by Craftsman that would allow you to expand your speed options on the classic Craftsman drill press. The MSA or multi-speed attachment was first offered by Craftsman in 1948 and I have a video where I did an overview of the MSA and I will link it here. The next option was the very slow which is what this video is about and it was first offered in 1953. And the third option was the reversible variable speed motor that was first offered in 1967. But it is the very slow that we're here to discuss in this video series. Craftsman first offered the very slow accessory in 1953 and continued to sell them until 1969, which was three years after the 150 series had ended production. The very slow had three different catalog numbers over its 16 year run, 9 2340, 2481 and 2482 and I will link this owner's manual in the description of the video. But as with all Craftsman products, Craftsman didn't manufacture the Very Slow. It was actually manufactured and sold by a company called Savage Manufacturing Company of Phoenix, Arizona. The company's owner and founder Hal Savage was the one who conceived of the idea of a variable speed drill press attachment. However, it was Robert D. Ferris who designed it and obtained the patent. Patent number 2666332 was filed in May of 1952 and was approved January 19, 1954. 
However, this was not the first design of this speed change pulley for drill press system. Savage and Ferris designed an earlier version of the speed change pulley system in the early 1940s. However, the early design was not patented until around the same time, but it was patent number 2689484. So where did Savage and Ferris get this idea on how to adjust the transmission of a belt between two pulleys? And the answer to that is it wasn't their idea to begin with. As we dive into the rabbit hole, there was this individual called M.O. Reeves that patented a speed varying mechanism back in 1897. What you want to take note of in this patent drawing is that the two pulleys on each end are coned shape pulleys. These two pulleys can expand or contract along the shaft that they're mounted on. And when working in concert, one pulley's sheave will become larger and the other pulley's sheave area will become smaller which is essentially the same thing that you do when you move a belt on a stepped pulley in concert with the other stepped pulley. But here, this mechanism does it on the fly while the machine is running. And this is a 1921 ad of the Reeves variable speed transmission demonstrating that this idea has been around for quite some time. The very slow does the exact same thing with its two center pulleys and all of the other parts to it are just the mechanisms that allow this to happen in concert. So that's a little bit of the history of the Very Slow and its origins and operation and how two engineers who were visionaries took an existing product, adapted it for what they needed it to do, and then brought it to market. However, this was not the only product that Savage Manufacturing was producing for Craftsman. In 1954, Craftsman offered the slow speed converter for their bandsaws. This device, produced by Savage Manufacturing, utilized geared pulleys and geared belts and slowed a bandsaw speed with a 1 to 10 ratio, allowing you to cut metal if you had a metal blade on your bandsaw. And I have a video series on the Craftsman three wheel bandsaw, and I actually go over this device and install it on that bandsaw and I'll link that video here. And this is an ad from a 1954 Popular Mechanics for Craftsman where they were advertising both the Very Slow and the Slow Speed Converter. And while these devices were being sold by Craftsman, Savage Manufacturing was also marketing and selling their own version of both of these devices with their own label. And although not offered by Craftsman, a notable mention here is the Pool Gear Company who marketed and sold a device that basically replaced the motor side pulley. And this device could be controlled with a knob on the top and utilize gearing on the inside and it could reduce a drill press speed from four and a half times to seven times. So this device is really noisy. Mr. Pete did a video series on it if you're interested in it, but it was never offered by Craftsman, so I'm just mentioning it here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a lot of information that I threw at you in almost 10 minutes, um, but I wanted to keep it fairly short compared to my normal 30-minute-ish videos. So this is the first video in this series, and this video series will probably end up being four, maybe five videos. I'm not sure. But the next video, we'll get into the disassembly and taking a look at all the various parts of the Very Slow. As always, I appreciate the support. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.